Today we're going to study about movement. What do you think? What's the actual definition of movement is? Did you ever wonder that there could be a subject which deals with movement? So let's begin. Welcome to a study of kinesiology. Studying kinesiology actually dates back to ancient Greece to the times of Aristotle and Hippocrates. The term kinesiology coined in 1854 by Carl George, the Swedish medical gymnast and kinesiologist. Kinesiology is a literal translation of Greek word which English meaning is movement science, which was the foundation of medical gymnastics, the Royal Central Institute of Gymnastics. GCI was founded in Scotland in 1813 by Fair Henry Kling. It was the first physiotherapy school in the world, training hundreds of medical gymnasts who spread the Swedish physical therapy to all continents. The term kinesiology comes from the Greek word kine, which means to move, and logi means the study of. So, kinesiology is a science of human movement. It is a word to describe the mechanics and structure of the body in relation to the movement. Aims and purposes of kinesiology. Kinesiology studies how the body initiates and controls movement, beginning with the brain and using all the different body systems. It studies the body at rest and in motion and examines how body systems interact during different types of movement. Kinesiology also studies how the body adapts and changes as a result of motion. Using this knowledge, kinesiology professionals are able to improve the body's performance, help people avoid injury and improve physical fitness. In kinesiology, we study human and non-human animal body movements, performance and function by applying the sciences of biomechanics, anatomy and physiology. Basically, kinesiology is based upon four principles, which are torque, biomechanical liver, line of pull and the vectors. I know many of the students have negative thoughts at the mere mention of the word kinesiology. Their eyes glaze over and their brains freeze. Perhaps based on past experience with anatomy, they feel that their only hope is mass memorization. However, this may prove to be an overwhelming task with no long-term memory gain. As you will proceed through, just keep in mind a few simple concepts. First. The human body is arranged in a very logical way. Like all aspects of life, there are exceptions. Sometimes the logic of these exceptions is apparent and sometimes the logic may be apparent only to some higher being. Whichever is the case, you should note the exception and move on. Second, if you have a good grasp of descriptive terminology and can visualize the concept or feature, strict memorization is not necessary. As I told you, kinesiology is a combination of multiple subjects, so it's necessary that you know the exact concept of all subjects. Moving on, what is biomechanics? The term biomechanics is comprises of two words. Number one is bio, which means life, or you can say a living organism. So then what mechanic is? Mechanics is a science which is concerned with emotion. Therefore, biomechanics is a study of the mechanics of a living body, especially of the forces exerted by muscles and gravity on the skeletal structure. Dynamic system of biomechanics can be divided into kinetics and kinematics. Kinetics are those forces that causes movement, whereas kinematics is the time, space and mass aspect of a moving system. Hence, kinetics is the study of the impact that different forces may have on mechanical system, such as your body. Kinematics is further subdivided into two branches, orthokinematics, osteokinematics.